G'day gents, we are on video tutorial number four of our toy bucky and in this video we're going to attach, well we're going to construct the tow bar and we're going to attach it to the back of the bucky. We're moving along quite nicely. So all the dimensions in order to construct the tow bar are given to us, total height and length, the square prism um, framework, the dimensions for that as well as that cylindrical height and, uh, and radius. So we're going to go ahead and construct it and as I said position it according to the dimensions we got here. And as we position this, we're going to use the center of the top edge over there. All right, so let's go across to SketchUp and get going on this. And this is where we left off in our last video. So you should all be um, at this position or similar to this. So I'm going to go and start on the top view. I'm going to add back my, um, so if I go to my display here, I want to put my axis back in place just so that I can see whereabouts. Uh, my lay how lay just my layout in general. So, back to the measurements. We're going to start very simply. We're going to start with the rectangle. The rectangle is going to be a total of uh, two, right? Two across the top and six long. If you have a look at the top here. So we want to we want to first work with the rectangle. So let's go back to SketchUp. Okay, two by six. Now we know this is going to be really small, so I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to go. You'll see as I pull it across there. Make sure that you, your model info is on millimeters, by the way. So we're going to go, in this case, it'll be 6 by 2 because of the way that the dimensions are reading. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we know that that's going to be 2 in height in terms of its, uh, so let's go this way. We're going to pull that up 2 by 2. So I'm going to go grab my push-pull and come up 2 millimeters, 2 and enter. So I've got that nice thickness there that we need for that little prism piece. I'm going to go back. You can see how I utilize my views differently. I'm going to go back to the top here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, take measure. And what we're going to do here is we're going to work back uh, two millimeters. Because remember, we've got, a, we've got a radius here. So you'll, you'll see how this works out. I want to move back two millimeters, right? And I want to move across one millimeter, right? So if I move across one millimeter back two millimeters, it gives me the center of the circle that I need to create the rest of that tow bar. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my circle command, which is over here. I'm going to attach it on the intersecting point there, and I'm going to move it out to the edge. Right, so at this point, what we're going to do is we want to remove these little edge pieces on the, on, the, on the side here, top left and, and, and um, bottom left. And so how we're going to do that is just rotate around and we're going to push pull that little piece there down to where, where you get on edge. So where you get that red click, we're going to move around nicely. Oh, the argent is getting in the way here. So let's shift and pan and do the same thing. We're going to click, drag down, make sure it's on edge. There we go. And it gives us the tow bar. A simple framework. And then quite very simply, we're going to pull this up. If we have a look here, oh, let's go back to our... We are four in total, so half of it, so we're going to go two millimeters above the material that we have now. So I'm going to click and go up two millimeters and hit enter. There it is. So what I want to do now is I'm going to delete all these lines. I'm then going to triple click, as always, triple click, make a, make a group. I'm going to add a tag to it. We're going to call it toe bar. There we go, and let's make sure we give it, there we go, click and highlight purple, that makes it the tag we want to make it, and then we're just going to go add the necessary materials, we want this to be red, and, um, so that it fits in with the bucky color. Let's go, you can, you can add it as a different color if you want to, but uh, I'm going to add as red. Good, there it is. Okay, so to position this now, I'm going to delete this man to get him out the way. A bit frustrating, isn't it? Okay, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the tow bar. So, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to take my measure my dimensions. And if you have a look here, the, the fitting is 18 down 20 across. So, we're going to use our tape measure. Uh, so, yeah, tape measure. So, we're going to go 18 down and we're going to come across 20. Enter. And that is going to give us our fitting, right? So I'm going to then grab this, 
I'm going to move it from the center point on that leading edge there at the top. And I'm going to go place it at the intersecting point of my constructions, which should be right there. There it is. So the tow bar has been placed perfectly onto the bucky, ready for the tow hitch on the trailer. So that is video tutorial number four done. Well done, gentlemen.